Hello friends. So in this session we will learn some conversion of aldehyde and ketones. So this is the compound. So synthesize compound from the starting material. So we have to synthesize this compound. So we will take this compound and uh, it is reacting with. Uh, we will take lithium aluminium hydride. So reaction will take place. So in presence of S2SO4. So this compound uh, will be converted into product. CH. So this will be your uh, CH and CS3. So double bond is there. So it will be your one hydrogen. So it will give you double bond like this. And then if you do ozonolysis uh, with the zinc plus H2O, so this will convert into your two product CS3. So splitting will take place. CS3 CHO and second product will be your sorry. Uh, this is your ketone so this is your ketone and again if you use the product cs3 mg br followed by hydrolysis so this product will convert into oh and again this uh, react with the concentrated s2 support and if you heat it so dehydration will take place and uh, this will give you the compound like this so this is your alkene it becomes cycloalkene so again if you give HBr in presence of peroxide so this will give you product like this and HBr so as per the uh, peroxide it will become this one and if you give next uh, aqueous KCN and followed by hydrolysis so you will get product we can see this is the carboxylic acid so this is the C and Br will be uh, uh, attacked by the CN and CN will convert into uh, it is convert by the C uh, hydrolysis ST hydrolysis and we will get the this product Second is your benzaldehyde to diphenyl ketone. So we'll take pH. So this will pH CHO. So this will react with the phenyl magnesium bromide uh, followed by hydrolysis. So you will get product. So this is the OH and pH and pH. So magnesium will react over here. So we'll get this compound. And if you use MnO2. So you will get product pH pH this will convert to ketone and again in this if you react with uh, pH 3 pCH2 so this is the compound so it will give you pH pH and this will be your double bond CH2 and you will get finally this product so this is our ketone and we have to kind of cyclic compound so we'll do this process so this is again reacted with the uh, some big compound CH CS2 CS2 MgBr so this is a green reagent it will add it will add and if you give uh, hydrolysis reactions and heating so you will get products a ring like product is there so ring like product means you will get product like this and uh, this will be like this one so definitely uh, this part will react with this carbon and you will get this one product now in this product if you give HBr in excess quantity and in presence of peroxide so what will happen it will give you this product so addition of HBr will take place over here both place take place so here Br and this side will be also Br so now if you give sodium and heat so this is a kind of Wurz reaction so you will get product this one so these two Br will be out and it will attack over here so you will get product double ring with BR.
now this we can also get through this compound also so this can be our starting materials if you give br2 with heat so we will get actually this compound also so now we will proceed from here so again this product is reacted with the c2h5o na the sodium ethoxide in presence of c2h5oh so we will get product this one with double bond this side so now if you will do bs3 s2o2 in sodium hydroxide so borohydrogen will take place and we'll get product like this so oh is there so we'll get oh over here now in this if you give oxidizing as s2 cro4 then this will convert into oxygen so this is our final product periodic mechanism of the following reaction so this is our reaction cs210 and this is the diketone and in presence of dilute sodium hydroxide and this product is there so we have to follow the mechanism so let us start from here so this is the 10 so take one cs2 out so right here cs2 hold 9 and uh, this is our ch with ketone so one hydrogen taken by the base so it becomes your anion and this anion which attached with the carbon with oxygen and second carbon with the oxygen and uh, this carbon attached with the this one next is our next same product so this is the co and this carbon attached with the again second c9 and with the second is ch and this attached with the again this carbon so we can see that product and this having the nature so this is again taken by the base so we have two anion so this anion will uh, attack over this carbon and this will attack over this carbon so we'll get product like this so we can see on attack this one so it is making a cyclic ring you can see uh, cyclic rings are there so it is ring and uh, this is the oxygen so this will be one oxygen this will be your one O minus and uh, again this will be your O minus we can see this O minus is there and again we have double bond O and again uh, from this carbon CS2 hold 9 and uh, from this so this will be attached to this carbon and from this it will be CS2 hold 9 and uh, if you do uh, hydrolysis so on hydrolysis we will get the product which is mentioned above. Predict mechanism of the following exchange reaction. So this is our reaction OH2. So these are two different isotopes of oxygen and we are getting this and this product. So let's start from here. So this is our reaction oxygen with uh, 16 and this is the OH2 with lone pair 18. So definitely this lone pair will attack over here and uh, this will be delocalized. So, so just write the product. So you will get on delocalization this will be O negative and this will be O O hydrogen 18 and this will give you a positive charge now if you do hydrolysis so on hydrolysis you will get OH and this will be your OH 18 now if you give S T reaction so it will convert into uh, OH 2 plus and this will be your OH 18 now if you give had on hydrolysis h2 will be out so we will get product oh18 so this is a lone pair and this is a positive charge so again in presence of acid it will be out so you will get finally product uh, one acid is also out so it will convert into oxygen 18 
so this is the mechanism of this reaction and you will get finally uh, h2o with 16 already 16 is there so this is the major product of this reaction so now give the structure of the indicated compound in the reaction so this is the reaction uh, so this compound is if you see carefully so this is a compound uh, this lone pair it will attack on this you can see this carbon this will be displaced so you will get finally product like this one so just uh, cs triple bond then c and again this one carbon with oxygen and this is react with this carbon with oxygen so you will get this so this is the product number a and again this is reacting with the product that is called grignard reagent so this is the grignard reagent so mgbr so on mgbr so this will react with this hydrogen so you will get product so this is the product and this is the oxygen and you will get like c c and mgbr now again this is reacting with a ch3 ch2 whole 5 cho so this will form next product oxygen and again with the oxygen reaction c triple bond c and it is reacting with a grignard so this will give you so since this carbon will react over here so this will give you ch oh then ch2 whole 5 ch3 and again this is the product number C and in presence of palladium calcium carbonate so this is a hydrogenation reaction take place so you will get product oxygen this is the carbon and this will form a hydrogen hydrogen and this is the CHOH hydrogenation take place and this will give you CS2 whole 5 and CS3 so this is our final product that is D. So this is the cycloalkylide reacting with the Mg ether. So we will get product Mg Br. It is reacting with the epoxide. So epoxide the ring will open. So on ring opening, this will attack over here. So this will open and this will attack over this side. So you will get compound. CS2, CS2, OH. So this is the F compound. And if you use the PCC, so PCC convert this alcohol into aldehyde. So you will get product this one, and this is the aldehyde product. So you will get oxygen. This side is hydrogen. So this is the product number C. So these are the mechanism of the reactions.